Okay, thank you. So, good day everyone, especially to you, ma'am. By the way, I am Melody Verona. So, let's proceed to the next topic, which is ethical issues facing entrepreneurs. So, there are three ethical issues, the relations with customers, the relations with personnel and employees, and the relations with business associates. So, let's go back to the first issues, which is the relations with customers. So, for example, so, lain-lain man jud ang ugali sa mga entrepreneur na yung mga tikasan sa timbangan imbis na mupalit ka o isa ka kilo na karne, ang imong madawat kay one half pra na karne. Unya, singit-singitan pa jud ka. Um, naapoy uban masuko o dili ni mo paliton ang ilahang paninda or mo tanaw-tanaw lang ka sa ilahang paninda. Ang uban po kay nagbayad na ka og 50 tapos marok kaayo kay gitago imuhang 50. Unya, ingnon lang ka nga 20 ra imuhang gihatag para sa ilahatanan ang sukli. So, when ethical abuses are committed, the most probable victims are customers. This is expected because of the high frequency of transactions between the company and the customers. Entrepreneurs are expected by society to treat their customers fairly and not to act in ways that will be harmful to them. There are four consumers' rights. Consumers are expected that the products and services that they buy will do not harm them. They also expected to be free from bodily harm when they are inside the entrepreneur's business premises. So, this right is the right to be safe. So, next one, consumers making purchasing decisions often. The quality of their decisions, however, will depend on whether or not they are properly informed. So, these rights are the rights to be informed. So, next one, firms that intended to adhere to business ethics should strive to protect consumers' right to choose what products and services they need and intend to purchase. So, this right is the right to choose. So, last one, customers have the rights to communicate their concerns to entrepreneurships they patronize. These rights may be used to express appreciations about what the company is doing or to provide information about defects in the products they, the customers vote. So, this right is the right to be heard. So, let's proceed to the second ethical issues, which is the relations with personnel and employees. There is always the possibility that business firms, including entrepreneurships, will commit unethical acts toward their employees. So, good ethical conduct or requires entrepreneurs to be aware of their responsibilities to their employees. So, there are four good ethical that the entrepreneur should be aware to maintain their good relationship with their personnel and employees. So, first is the workplace. So, the ethical entrepreneur is the one who makes sure na safe ang iyahang mga employees and he sees to it that adequate measures are adopted to prevent accident from happening in the factory and in the office. So, in additional, dapat ginamonitor, tanan ang mga equipment, and so on and so forth para maiwasan ang accident, especially in the factory or in the office. So, next is the quality of life issues. So, the entrepreneurs address the burdens or problems of employees para ma-maintain ang good balance between works in family. 
So next is avoiding discrimination. To maintain good relationship with personnel and employees. Because of, everyone has the right to work in a place where discrimination is not practiced. So mostly na discriminate ta it because of our age or sex, race, religion, or political beliefs, and so on and so forth. Because of such factor, dili ta mahatagan o chance na ma-employed or ma-promote, so we should avoid discrimination. So last is preventing sexual harassment to the personnel or in employees because entrepreneurs have the moral responsibility of keeping workplace free or safe from sexual harassment and everybody should be treated fairly so the third ethical issues are the relations with business associates so entrepreneurships operates in conjunction with the efforts of suppliers agents and various type of middlemen in the course of business transactions between the players mentioned and the firms so some ethical questions may come into force so a supplier who badly needs a contact for instance may attempt to bribe the companies for chasing officer so another example would be the company sales manager extending favors to a trader by giving priority to delivery of orders um, in exchange for personal favors. So, katong mga practices na gipang mention is dili siya ethical and ginabawal jud siya na mahitabo sa kompanya. That is, strictly upholds good ethical conduct. Is the relations next is the relations with investors and the financial community so it is the part of the relations with business associates so so the country's financial system survives partly because investors and other players have placed a certain degree of trust in firms they deal with so, the degree of trust is maintained at a high level of the investors and the financial community feel that business firms practice good business ethics and especially if they think that their investments are well protected. So, if that is so, the desired level of investment is maintained trust and confidence. However, um are eroded by wrongdoing of some firms. The investments come perpetrated by some scheming persons. So do not provide good example of ethical firms. So it is to the best interest of companies including entrepreneurships. Okay class, I'm already in here so thank you for listening and God bless. I hope that you learned a lot from my report, so goodbye.